Hi guys, so in today's video, I'll be demonstrating how I achieve this gorgeous twist out on dry hair. <laughs> so if you're interested, then let's get going. So we start out with freshly washed hair. I've shampooed and uh, conditioned my hair. Um, this is my hair after it was straightened, so I have reverted it back to curly. As you can tell, I just wanted to show you that my curls came back just fine, so there was no heat damage. Yay! <laughs> so um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to spray my hair with a little bit of water just to dampen it back up because it has completely air dried. And so you want to put a little bit of moisture to it before you add heat so that, you know, it kind of loosens the curls up a little bit. So um, next what I'll do is I'll go in with my Tresemme heat protectant spray. And I'm going to, of course, spray that on my hair because I will be applying heat with the blow dryer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Make sure to get that rubbed in really well. Now here I have completed the blow dry process and my hair is nice and stretched and ready to begin the twisting process. And of course you guys, you have to admire your hair once you see it stretched, you know, it's just human nature. <laughs> so anywho, uh, next step here, I have my oil mixture and I am just going to apply that to my scalp because like I've mentioned before, my hair tends to get really dry so I make sure to add as much moisturizer as I can prior to styling just to make sure my hair remains looking nice and shiny. So that is what I'm doing here, making sure to pull that oil down to my hair strands, just make sure that it's nice and coated, but not too overly saturated. So here I'm prepping my hair so that we can get ready to begin the twisting process. Next, I am using my mill edge control and I'm going to apply that to my edges just right there in the front portion of my hair just to make sure my hair is nice and slicked down in the front not that I'm very particular about that but just because I'm doing a fresh style that I want to last for at least a week so I want to go ahead and just kind of lay those edges down a little bit so that they remain tamed through the uh, week of wearing the style so um, you'll see me doing that here So I do try to minimize the amount of combing that I do to my hair, which is why you see me finger combing and parting. I am using the Mill Twisting Souffle, and this is a great cream that I've found that works really well on keeping my twists moisturized, and it actually gives them a nice definition. So I do like this cream, and I will list all of this uh products that I'm using down in the, in the uh, description box and I'll also put a link to my Amazon store so if you are interested in purchasing any of the items that I'm using then um, you are able to uh, go directly to Amazon to purchase those products and if you do use my link I do get a small kickback just so that you guys know. So 
So now we're just going to move forward with the twisting process. And as you can tell, I am twisting my hair uh, pretty tightly just to make sure that my curls are defined. And so you don't want to make your twist too loose because that does um, decrease the amount of definition that you'll see with your twist outs. So I do twist all the way to the end, making sure that my ends are nicely uh, coated with conditioner um, or uh, cream, whichever cream you're using, making sure that I have a nice amount of oil on my ends. I make sure that my ends are very well protected. And I am using these uh, nice little rollers here, little spongy rollers that um, I found at the hair supply store. And I'm using those on the ends just to add a little bit of curl to make sure that it kind of um, maintains that definition and that curl pattern. And here I'm showing you that little portion of my hair that was uh, burnt off. You know, I told you guys in a previous video from when I um, had it um, pressed one time before. And yeah, that, that was kind of a, <laughs> a little disaster that occurred from that. Um, so that area, I like to show you the progress on that. And it is growing back nicely. And once I style my hair, you don't even realize it's there so all right so what we're going to do is just go ahead and finish twisting my hair and applying those rollers at the end there's not a single day that passes without you on my mind not even one minute can end up before you come around i yearn for the days when i see your face here before me Okay, so um, at this point, what I am doing is my hair tends to poof up right there in the front um, from my twist. And so what I like to do is take a bobby pin and try to lay those um, poofed out areas, lay those down a little bit, just so that my hair, um, I don't like it to be too bushy at first because it's going to get there anyway. So um, I'm sorry, guys, I'm trying to show you the type of bobby pin that I use. So um those are the bobby pins that I use right there in the front to just uh, make that front portion of my hair look a little more tamed because, like I said, over the next few days, it'll poof up on its own. So. <laughs>
Okay, and so here I'm just kind of showing you the number of twists that I put in my hair, and I have a total of 10. That's six in the back and four in the front. And that's how I twist my hair. And now I'm going to apply some of my oil sheen. And like I told you guys, my hair tends to get dry, so we like to nice and coat it <laughs> with uh, oil. So, And this is the next shameless plug, guys. So this is my reversible satin hair bonnet. <laughs> and we're going to demonstrate how large it is and Look how poofy that is, and you can put all your hair up in there and get ready for bed. So this is the next day. I am getting ready for work, so now we're going to go ahead and get these twists out. And so I will just let you guys um, observe how I take them out. I do um, start at the ends and kind of unravel or twist my hair in the opposite direction just to get it loosened up and then I began the unraveling process and I do put a little bit of oil on my hair prior to uh, taking down my twist just to make sure that I don't uh, cause any uh, unnecessary frizz I would say so um, here we are taking down our twist and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and You'll also see, um, just to give you one more little uh, tidbit here, is once I get my twist out, I let my twist naturally separate. So when you see me begin separating my twists, I kind of separate them as my hair, hair naturally wants to separate. So I don't do any additional um, separating. I just kind of separate it where it wants to, and then I fluff it out just a little bit. But like I said, I don't do too much fluffing um the first day that I take my hair down just because it's gonna poof up on its own and I like for it to do it over a period of time versus just being poofy to begin with and then it's out of control by the end of the week so <laughs> so yeah we kind of take it slow so um I'll let you guys kind of observe me as I take my twist down and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys Be broken down